Starting in Excel 2007, pivot tables based on the same data share the same pivot cache. This happens by default, and it is usually a good thing. Each pivot cache increases the size of your workbook. So if each pivot table had its own separate pivot cache, all a snapshot of the same data, this would definitely be a waste of memory. However, there are times when you might want pivot tables based on the same data to have separate pivot caches. There are several potential disadvantages of shared pivot caches. First, you cannot refresh one pivot table without refreshing the others. Second, when you add a calculated field or a calculated item to one pivot table, it is automatically shared with the others. Third, when you group or ungroup on some field in one pivot table, the grouping automatically applies to the others. These might not be serious disadvantages, but they could be annoying. Fortunately, there is still a way to control pivot table sharing. You can do this by pressing Alt, then D, and then P to invoke the old pivot table dialog box from earlier versions of Excel. Alt, D, P. This leads you through a three-step wizard, and when you click Next on the second step, you are asked essentially whether you want to base the new pivot table on the same data cache. To avoid sharing, you should click No. I will show the effect by changing a total spent value in the dataset to a huge value. Then I will select the first pivot table and click Refresh. If the pivot tables shared the same cache, they would both be refreshed. However, as you can see, the second pivot table doesn't change. I would have to refresh it separately. Again, this just indicates that there is a trick for avoiding pivot cache sharing. Normally, you want the pivot caches to be shared, so you will use this trick only on special occasions.